Hey guys, I've got another After Effects tutorial for you today, and today I'm not going to show you how to do any visual effects or anything at all. I'm just going to show you how to um, how to render something because a couple of people asked me, uh, Tom, how do you render things? So I thought as well, thought I might as well show you. Now there's two things I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to render something in uh, in the After Effects project within it, so like for a preview, and I'm going to then I'm going to show you how to just render things. Went say render it out to a QuickTime file. So let's just imagine I've spent hours working on this great shot here, and I've finished all the visual effects and everything for it. Say I wanted a preview of what it looks like. I'd go to, um, I'd open up the timer controls. If you haven't got this little window here, um, go to Window, Timer Controls, and click on it there. Or you can see the keyboard shortcut, shortcut Command and Three there. But I've already got it open there, so I don't need to do that. And what you need to do is you need to press this little button here, the RAM preview, and that will just render through within the project what you've got so far. So let's do that. Isn't that lovely? Um, so yeah, basically. Um, it, it, it will take a while if you have done lots of visual effects and everything, but because this is simply just a quick time file, um, it took pretty much no time at all. But if you have done, for, for, say for example, um, I've got some lightning on here and I've got loads of effects going on, uh, it will take a while to render. So now to render it out to a as a um, um, as a quick time file or whatever you prefer, I think it's best if you do it as a quick time file. You go to you make sure you have the composition selected and as you'll see you have that yellow outline around and you go to composition add to render queue and if you just drag this up here now there's only two things you want to be worried about there's the output output two and that's the name of where I'm going to save it to so I'm going to save it to the desktop and I'm going to call it punch.mov so save that and then if we go on output module down here it'll say lossless or something there you click on that and that'll bring up all of your video settings so uh, if you want to change the file format i would click on here now there's loads of stuff to choose from I'd advise a QuickTime movie and if I want to change the settings I'd go on to format options and animation or photo JPEG probably work best um, but I think I just use animation because that's the default and it's good. So, um, 30 frames per second, uh, okay. And, oh yeah, and make sure you have the quality dragged up to full, um, for obvious reasons. And down here, you'll have all your audio options. So I'm gonna check this little box for the audio output, and there's all your audio options there. Um, those settings will be fine, because uh, they're all the default settings from the audio that the camera recorded. So yeah, now we have crop, and we can say crop. Um, the original video, the, the original video is. Um, oh, sorry. The original video is 640 by 360. But say if I cropped it slightly to the left, then it would be 523 by 360, and we don't want that. So the final option here is now I'm just going to take that off final option is stretch and here you can stretch it to make it big, bigger so like I said before um, it is the aspect ratio is 16.9 and the width is 640 pixels and the height is 360 say if I wanted to make it HD I'd click on 128 e by uh, 720 and that would stretch it as it says there, stretch it to a HD file but because it um, my camera doesn't record in HD I can't do that so I'm gonna just untick that box there so yep yeah, that's good to go um, I'll click on the render button here and that will render for you render through once it's fi finished rendering it'll hear you'll hear that sound there the little brrr sound um, so yeah that's rendered out to my desktop now let's take a look shall we Yeah, that's really nice. So, uh, that's pretty much the basics of it. So, thanks for watching this quick tutorial, and thanks for watching. I just said that twice, didn't I? I'm a douchebag.